Hello and welcome to the first Phil Galloway Draws Hints and Tips video for fresh paint on the Surface Pro 3 and running Windows 10 with me Phil Galloway. Uh, this is a bit of an experimental video to see how it works. Uh, I'm recording it on the Xbox DVR function and um, I'm recording the audio on my Lumia 1520 so we'll see how this pans out. Um, it's going to be a little introduction to what's new on fresh paint Windows 10. Uh, it is a little bit different to Windows 8.1 uh, there's been a few changes that I've had to get used to, but it's running absolutely brilliantly and uh, this is just to kind of give you a little bit of an insight into what's new. And I will be following this up with further videos of from start to finish of some of my paintings to kind of give you hints and tips on how to achieve uh, you know, these final uh, looks that you can see here. Um, and so let's get into it a little bit. Uh, you'll have to excuse my voice, it's a bit croaky because I'm full of a cold and if you hear a dog yawning or, or grumbling next to me it's just my labradoodle who sat pretty much on my toes as I speak. So let's get into this. As you can see this is fresh paint on Windows 10. Um, you'd be forgiven initially for thinking it might be quite similar to 8.1. Um, if this is your first time to fresh paint you might be forgiven for thinking this is a bit of a kid's toy because on the right hand side you've got your featured activities which is mainly aimed at kids but I will say uh, Fresh Paint is an unbelievable app um, and it is certainly not a kids toy it can be used for, for kids, you know my daughter loves playing with it but it can also be used for professional artists alike um, I've been selling prints made on this program for the last couple of months now um, and been exhibiting them and people have been thinking they're real paintings It's uh, it's an incredible tool and it's completely transformed my art and workflow so it's definitely worth checking out. So let's have a little look through. So um, like on 8.1 you've got my painting section which is nice that all my paintings from the last uh, version of Windows 10 has come across. Some sketches, some finished ones, some of my work from MWC Barcelona there, some finished stuff and some of my daughter's doodles as you can see. So that's all nice that they've come across. Um, and like I said you've got your featured activities fun packs for kids to kind of do colouring in on the right hand side you get a little option on now to select certain ones so you can select that um, and which was a bit harder before to kind of delete paintings from your gallery and then you can just click on the right hand side delete you're about to delete this painting delete fantastic so that works really really nicely so on your left hand side we've got a new menu bar for fresh paint so we've got new, which we'll start in a second for creating a new painting. You've got import, so you can either import pictures from your camera on your Surface Pro 3 or whatever tablet you're running, your photos from your gallery, um, <coughs> and from Bing Inspire Me, which is if you're not feeling your creative juices flowing or you're not inspired by anything, Bing will do it for you. They'll be they send random pictures which you can keep generating. Um, to kind of inspire you what you want to doodle or draw or paint. Um, you've got a, an about little section, view help, which opens up a window which takes you to a website to kind of talk you through a little bit more about fresh paint and you get a settings button on the side which is for feedback. Um, obviously a lot of the apps on Windows 10 have this function at the moment with it being so new. Uh, privacy statement and a little bit about fresh paint. Nothing too new in there but it's more when you get into the new painting section that things get a little bit different from 8.1 and a little bit interesting. So you can either start with fresh canvas at the top, which just takes you straight into the app and away you go, or to custom canvas on the side. Um, so let's have a look at what's new and then we can see what can be achieved. So if we click on custom canvas, so this is different, completely different, and it gives you more options. On 8.1 you were limited to one size of canvas. You could change the background and colour and texture once you were into the actual painting process of it but on this one it gives you a few more options to kind of play with so you've got your sizes you can mess around so you've got canvas 16 by 9 3 by 4 5 by 7 4 by 6 and square option which is really nice so you don't have to be editing down or drawing lines on it to kind of work out your your canvas size before you do it you can also have the option of rotating your canvas which is great um, I often as you saw if I go back away most of my paintings are on uh, landscape because I like to use all the kind of size of the tablet screen really which when you have it rotated vertical you're limited to 
that you know it cuts off half the screen as I can show you here if I go to custom canvas and we rotate that one you've got quite a little bit of room either side which doesn't really isn't conducive to painting on but that's just personal preference um, let's have a little look so we'll rotate that back um, you've got some greyed out lightened out little options at the top here next to the crop kind of symbol you've got a sun symbol which I'm presuming is going to be something to do with brightness or contrast on there I'm not quite sure maybe this is going to be on future builds by the fresh paint team um, but we'll keep an eye on that and I'll report back if I find out anything and what looks to be next to it is a layers button or something like that now I'm one of the reasons why I really like fresh paint is that there is no layers option as you can find in so many other digital art um, painting and doodling and sketching apps around which are all fantastic in their own right um, and I you know I've used lots of them but fresh paint I keep coming back to it as my main uh, art driver I suppose uh, because there is it's so like real painting there is no option for layers there's no option for transparencies you have to obey the parameters of oil paint watercolor especially the oil painting um, and put paint on top of paint or leave it to dry or delete it or rub it out um, you've got to build it up as you would a normal painting and I like that intuitive realistic nature that the fresh paint team have managed to get into the program so we'll keep an eye on that and see how that pans out but for me at the moment the actual you know app runs perfectly fine without layers so I'll be veering away from that and then on the end you get your canvas textures so it gives you the basic one it starts off with with paper you've got different grains of paper different weights which does affect how the paint reacts on it underneath it and then this end option is for glassy kind of like it's like painting on glass the, the paint goes on buttery smooth with a real nice sharp edge and um, you can flick between these when you're painting as well which is a nice hints and tip when I get into it a little bit more on an actual hints and tips video um, about the actual painting process I'll show you how flicking between the, the textures can actually help if you need a really sharp edge on a smaller area it's great to move it to glass um, and you achieve that with the paint and likewise you get your canvas, your chunky canvases, your square weaves, all that kind of jazz. But I usually start on the simple paper one. You can change your colour of it if you so wish in the background, but we'll keep it white for now. And then we click the start painting, which is quite a nice little thing. So immediately you can see this is a different thing to the 8.1 version. No longer could you swipe down from, if I bring up a little pencil I can show you, so you used to be able to swipe down from above and it would bring down the little uh, menu tablet and your your you know your bowl for washing your brushes your, your pot for washing your brushes and your palettes now you've got this neat little uh, menu kind of thing which we can move around which works really really well as soon as you touch it onto the canvas it disappears and then it appears back works really well it's actually quite nice some of the things within it take a little bit of getting used to but I quite like this effect because sometimes swiping down when you were painting actually kind of made you work around it um, and you know sometimes it was a bit hit and miss whether it actually did swipe down um, so for the you know on this one that's a win for me so let's have a little look um, and also on this one you can move around this at the bottom and nothing really has changed on that you've got your back tool you've got your widen your canvas you've got your dry and you've got your basically your ink dropper kind of thing, your colour selection, sorry. Let's get rid of that. So on your left hand side, let's have a look, go into this one, you've got your watercolours, which are all as it was on 8.1, varying from fine to kind of chunky wide ones, which work nice, you know, I, I use mainly the oil painting on it, it would be nice to see a kind of drivel effect kind of happening, or you know, if you really load up the paint it would spread and disperse, because I know a few other apps are doing that, but for me, it worked absolutely perfectly fine. My partner's used the watercolour app for some of her work and packaging and things like that. It, you know, it works. Um, you've got your oil brushes, which we are mainly will concentrate on. These are great. You've got your chunky wide. You've got square edged. You've got your fan brush. They work brilliantly. We'll come back to them. Um, but they are all the same as on 8.1. And you've got your pencils. This is where it's a little bit different. You've got 4H, HB, 2B, which is nice. So if you want to do fine. Uh, hold on white's not the best idea for is it let's bring up a uh, black there and uh, so if you want to do light work and then you know, press a little bit heavier through to HB a little bit heavier again and then 2B chunkier and thicker so that's really nice for doing your sketch work you've got a new tool which is the biro which I've started sketching in 
a lot. I'll do some of my prep work in this. It's really nice. It goes on super react responsive. You can really get in there. It's a great wee thing. Uh, and then again, to finalize, you've got your crayons, which are great for the kids and great for kind of chunking up color. And you've got your square edged crayon as well. So those are kind of as it was. It's just the pencils, the biro that changed within there. You've got your rubber tool, which still works grand, or you can use your front button on your Surface Pro 10. And you've got your smudge tool over there, which I don't really have too much business with, but each to their own. Uh, let's have a little look back. And if we go to where my bread and butter is, the oil painting. So if we select, this is where it gets a little bit different. Before you could select down and your palette was there, your color selector was there, all on the one thing. This makes you work a little bit harder uh, around the menus, but it still works absolutely grand. So you've got your color selectors there, your basic ones that they give you. You can select your color wheel, and then you've got your palettes. Now, the palette is it's grand. You know, it's brilliant for mixing your colors on. It's really responsive, as you can see. Uh, on 8.1, you have the option of having multiple palettes. Now, I'd like to see that come in because come back into this version because it was great. You could have all your flesh tones, your greys, your darks, all set up on different palettes, so you knew you weren't going to be bleeding into each one. gave you a lot of room to work on. So hopefully the fresh paint team might incorporate this back into subsequent builds. But for the meantime, it does make you plan out your space a little bit more. It um, makes you choose your, your brush size a little bit carefuller. Um, but, you know, it works. It's really, really clever little thing. And it does the job. You've got your wash, uh, your palette thing, we've got bubble, and your wash, your brush, as is the same color wheels the same and your color section you get a few more on there and uh, you can select back through all the colors you've used in it which is a really nice feature which has kind of come in before it was limited a little bit now you can go all the way back which is grand uh, to what you've used which is, comes in very very handy if you're using as many colors as I do on some of my work um, as we said that's the same and then on this one is where you change your canvases so you can clean your canvas which is a really nice option if you want to go back to square one. Like I said, if you want to go to different, let's just have to bring up a, let's have a little look. Uh, so this is like the glassy one, really nice and smooth and buttery. Use the brush there, use me. There we go. And this reacts lovely, and you can, as you can see, if I change it to canvas, the paint reacts differently. It's such a clever app. If I change it to uh, paper, again, it reacts differently. This is where fresh paint is just light years ahead of everything else in terms of realism and effect. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, it gives you all the options, all the tools there at your fingertips really to use. So that's the kind of main interface sorted. Uh, you've got your, as I said, the image import options. You've got a nice new print option. Um, so you can print to PDF or to your local printer um, and you can choose your DPI function so it's absolutely fantastic for that so meaning I can actually get my print printed at home now um, and if you've got you know a high quality printer it gives you those options you've got your share option which is there which is click. gives you different options to share there and you've got your save button which is on the side there which is fantastic which to be honest before the save bu button was a little bit hit and miss I kept knocking it with my hand it's really nice to have it on the side uh, and like I said, there's your search, uh, your view help button, which brings up the website and your settings. Oh, that feels very nice. If this cuts out before, I'll go mad. Um, so there it is. It's fantastic. It's a great wee app. It's really worth checking out whether you want to just mess around with your kids on it. You're a fledgling artist and just want to have a dabble into digital. Or you are a professional wanting to kind of try something new. It's definitely worth a look. I think the Fresh Paint team have done an amazing job. Um, Windows 10 version is a little bit different, don't get me wrong, it took a little bit of getting used to. Initially I was a bit worried that Oof, my system is going to have to change, my process is going to have to change, but already I'm finding my feet um, and I'm really liking where it's going with it. And then, like I said, you can start to produce works which have got a lot more detail in it, uh, such as this, which obviously is on the side because I like to use the whole plane of the tablet. And, you know, the effects are there to be seen. It's a great wee thing. Um, and it's you know really transformed it so if you want to find out a little bit more information um, I mean I'm going to be making more videos hints and tips like I said start and finish videos um, coming up really really soon um, but get in touch with me on Twitter and it's at filthy art so that's P-H-I-L-T-H-Y-A-R-T 
um, or you can have a little look at some of my, of my work on my website so www.billgallowaydraws.co.uk and that's the same handle for my Instagram feed so get in touch let me know how you're getting on if you need any help with anything do uh, get in touch um, and like I said I'll be making some more videos soon so I hope you've enjoyed this um, and you know keep an eye out for, for some of the new stuff coming up thanks a lot for watching and I'll speak to you soon bye now